example let us uh, you can write down the example uh, always while solving the problems you should have uh, a notebook and uh, calculator so what is the example here numerical is uh, light rays incident from medium 1 to medium 2 so this is medium 1 and medium 2 If you indices of medium 1 and medium 2 are 1.5 and 1.3 respectively. So refractive index are 1.5 and 1.3. 6. So these two medium media are there. Then determine the angle of refraction for angle of incidence of 30 degree now this is different. so how to determine the angle of incidence and angle of refraction ok that we are considering so suppose this is the ray incident incident ray so this is the angle normal support phi 1 and ray is refractive which is having higher angle than the incidence angle and that is phi 2 okay so that we have to find out so medium 1 is having a refractive index, index 1.5 medium 2 is having n2 refractive index 1.3 here the angle of incidence is uh, this is 5 okay this is 5 so that uh, symbol which you are not able to see is 5 1 5 1 is equal to 30 degree okay 5 1 is 30 degree 5 1 is 30 degree okay similarly angle of Uh, incidence phi 2 is how much? Um, angle of uh, refraction it should be angle of refraction. Angle of refraction. Okay. So angle of refraction is how much? Question mark. That we have to calculate. Answer is also given readily available to check afterwards, but this we will check afterwards after calculating the phi 2. So, how to calculate phi 2 with the help of Snell's law? What is say Snell's law? Snell's law says that n1 sin phi 1 is equal to n2 sin phi 2. Snell's law. Right, Snell's law. N1 into sine phi 1 is equal to N2 into sine phi 2. So we are having N1 here, 1.5. So this is N1. We are having N2 with us, that is 1.36. We are having phi 1 given as 30 degree and we have to find out phi 2 to so substitute it and find it out <coughs> so how to find the phi 2 ok substitute it right 1.5 sin of 30 equals to 1.36 sin of phi 2 so sin of phi 2 You can write, take N2 on the other side, 1.5 into multiplied by sine of 30 divided by 1.36. Solve this, <coughs> solve this with the calculator. Okay. Then you will get. Your answer. 
will take sign of inverse of that uh, and we will find out the answer. So what is that? How much is it? Is, is it 0 0.5547? I have checked this. I will check it. Find out by two uh, inverse of this, isn't it? Find inverse of this. <coughs> okay. Point five five four seven. And what the answer is? Answer is this three three four six degree. Three three four six degree. Answer is three three four six degree. Is it correct? <coughs> so this is our first problem. Problem. Okay. Am I audible? Okay, thank you. So, uh, please mute your uh, mic. Okay, thank you. So, I think um, uh, even though you do not mute your mic, mic or whatever this is not recorded in the system i think so let us check after this lecture yesterday lecture is uh, able to see in the app but that lecture is uh, somehow get duplicated i think we have uh, lecture we are having the lecture uh, one, uh, that is one hour 30 minutes and uh, it is showing one three hours so you can see in the on the YouTube. Uh, so. But we have the YouTube. Every time I am not able to place the link. In the first okay, this is first problem. Now <clears throat> move to the second problem. So. A light ray is incident from glass to air. Calculate the critical angle phi c. Now this is again the symbol is not able to display here. It is phi c. Okay, this is phi c. So solution the refractive index light ray is incident from glass to air. Calculate the critical angle phi c. The refractive index is uh, given. Uh, problem statement is actually incomplete. Uh, some while copy testing, I might have not copied completely. The refractive index of the glass N1 is 1.5, and refractive index of air, that is N2, is 1. Okay, so N1 is for glass. And the N2 is for air. Okay. So this is the problem statement. Again the same. Again the same. Uh, we have to check the uh, Snell's law. But uh, here uh, it is asked the uh, refractive index. Uh, sorry, uh, angle of uh, incidence when it becomes critical angle i see that means angle of incidence becomes critical angle when the angle of refraction becomes normal 90 degree okay angle of refraction becomes 90 degree so while calculating the critical angle angle of refraction we are taking 90 degree that means sine of phi 2 
is automatically becomes one, and hence the sine phi c becomes n two upon n one. That formula we are knowing. So what is the theory behind this problem? Is we are having here, and we are having the glass. So if air is having n two equal to one, glass is having n one equal to one point five, and we are having the normal here, and we are having the angle of incidence phi c. At phi c, the refracted angle becomes ninety degrees. So phi two becomes ninety degrees. So this is the theory behind this. Again, we apply the Snell's law. We get the answer. So it is very simple. Let us sort it out. Snell's law says n one uh, sorry n one sine phi one equals to n two sine phi two. Now n one is one point five. Then n two is one. Then sine phi two is known. That is ninety degrees. So sine of ninety. Okay. When of ninety is one. Sine of phi one two, and here sine of phi one. Here phi one we want as phi c. So sine of phi c. When phi one is phi c, when phi one equal to phi c, then and then only phi two becomes equal to ninety. When phi one is phi c, then and then only phi two is ninety. So if you sort it out here, uh, unknown is now only. Phi c, so we can calculate sine of phi c, as one into one is one divided by <coughs> one divided by one point five. Okay, how much it is? One upon one point five. So. Let me tell you to calculate. One divided by one point five. Point six six six. Okay. Zero point six seven. One six 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 and so on. So sine inverse of point six seven. Is the answer How much is the answer? Is it forty-two? Okay, thank you. Forty-two point zero six. Right. Thank you, sir. Forty-two point forty-two point. So this is the answer. Whatever the uh, answer given by other work may not be recorded. I think this system is not recording students' voice. I don't know, but we we'll let us check tomorrow. So, forty-two point zero six is the answer. So, this also problem we have solved with the same theory that is Snell's law.
So I think all of you have solved this uh, in your notebook with your calculator. Uh, let us sort it out. If you are having any problem, problem this uh, uh, numerically is simple. So based on very basic law. All the numericals in the this course is this much simple only. All the numericals are very simple. That's why we also have the benefit of scoring the marks by solving such a simple numericals. Okay. So let us move to the second one more numerical. So this numerical, uh, the calculation of numerical aperture is there, acceptance and